Excuse me, has anyone seen a giant tasty lobster around here? I do this for you, no, my son! Man, we got <laughs> oh, hey, have either of you seen a 5 for 10 special on seafood around here? Oh, God! Mercy, man. Oh, God! Please! Over here. Has anyone tell, seen my that tell my wife! Tell my wife I love her! Please! <laughs> Sir, we're taking heavy casualties! Don't worry, man! I got a plan! Ah, Take the giant noises! Oh my god! It's like a giant sea buffet! Oh! No! Come back! Giant food! Uh, what? What? Where am I? Oh, well, what have I learned today? Reality is often disappointing. She kissed oh, me! What now? She kissed me! She wanted to kiss me, Morty! A girl kissed me! Can you believe it, Morty? Isn't this such great news? Breaking news! Why, they might even put it on the TV. Local virgin finally gets his first kiss. Will he hold hands next? Feature film at 11. Seriously, I was there last week. I saw it happen. Can you please move on? My ears are ringing. Thanks for the support, Morty. I knew I could always count on you. Now I gotta get going. I'll see going. you later. Going where? A doctor? I'd even settle for a fish market at this point. And then he get this, he pulled down his pants and oh my god, he was three times the size of what I was expecting. Dude was hung like a fucking horse. Oh my god, Melissa, that is terrifying. He could hurt you with that thing. Nah, no, more like he couldn't even understand. I was so fucking aroused. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, you're right. We are kind of running low on villagers, aren't we? Perhaps I should build them a structure which we'll keep them in. I'm thinking like a tiny enclosed house where we can cram like maybe 10 or 20 of them in there. Hmm, a small, doorless, cramped little building you're going to shove villagers into? Tell me, you wouldn't be starting up that old breeding facility again, would you? What? Me? No! I'm a changed man! Sada, please! I'm just thinking of the safety of the villagers! Gotta protect them from the zombies. You know they can break down doors, right? Yeah, uh -huh. I like Lee's story, Tama. I know how you are with those villagers. I know what you're up to, and we agreed to shut that thing down. Yes, we did, but you can't deny the results, though. We did get a lot of villagers. And if I'm not mistaken, there was an eager little lady who wanted to help me build the thing in the first place. <laughs> well, I have no idea what you're talking about there, Tama. I, I would never protect anything, something so perverted. You know, now that I think about it, all I said was that I was going to build a structure. You're the one that brought up the breeding house. Dear little Sada, are you perhaps turning into a pervert on me? What a pa I ain't no pervert! Let's get something straight here, okay? I go to church almost every Sunday! I can't help but you invite me over almost every day! It's your fault! Your pervertedness is rubbing off on me! I may invite you, but that doesn't mean you have to show up. You're the one that still comes over, Sada! No, 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 no! You ain't turning this back on me, mister! You can't fault me for being a good friend! If I didn't come over, you'd be so damn lonely! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Mommy and Daddy, please stop fighting! Whatever it is, we can solve this as a family! Oh, oh shut up, Lynx! Lynx. Ah, perfect! There's a family I know and love! Hey, why don't you tell my son to shut up? You apologize oh, to him right now! I'm not apologizing! That's not even our son! He's a freak! And he deserves to shut up! He's annoying! Ah, oh, shucks, thank you, mother! She is not your mother! Quiet to this strange roleplay! I love you too, Daddy. Anyways, Lynx, did you need something? What are you doing out here? Oh, I just wanted to remind you that I'm hosting that New Year's party tonight and wanted to see if you guys were still coming. Oh, thanks, oh, thanks for the but reminder. Sorry, no, we're totally we're going. going. Wait, what? I thought we weren't going. I, I, I don't want to go. What? Toma, how many times do I have to tell you? You need to get out and be social. This is the perfect opportunity. Now we're going to the New Year's party social. and we're going to have a nice time. Oh, come on, Toma. It's just some extra bonding time with your favorite brother. Shut up and don't push your luck. Hey, yo, you best not be telling our son to shut up. What did I just get done telling you, mister? Huh? Woman, oh let's God, get something like straight. That idiot really is far too stupid feelings. to be my son. Well, that was a lot of fun. Oh, hey, look, it's Ethan. Hey, buddy. Why are you in a suit? Because, Link, some of us have jobs. Speaking of, I made it home from my job. Now, what are you doing out here? Oh, you know, not much. I'm just taking a stroll. But if I see anybody, I'm trying to remind them that I'm having that New Year's party. So I wanted to remind you, I'm having a New Year's party tonight. Hope you can make it, buddy. A New Year's party? That's a great idea! Link's count me in, I'll be there! Now then, speaking of jobs, I think Soren's at her job. I should go visit and tell her about the New Year's party. I totally just don't want to go to work tomorrow. I know, right? It's just so nice hey, out. Amor, Who hey, wants to work? Got some news, guys! Hello, welcome. How can I help you? Do you need a cake? No, no, hi. Sorry, I, I'm just here to see you, Soren. I'm not a paying customer. 
Oh, Lynx, hey, sorry, I, I didn't recognize you. It's been a while. How are you, and where are the other two idiots? Well, uh, Toma and Sada are bickering like an old married couple, and uh, Ethan's on his way home from work. But anyways, enough about them. I'm here for you, Soren! What on earth could you need with me at work? Oh, no, you're not here to harass Rika again, are you? No, 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 I'm not here for Rika. In fact, I'm just here to invite you to my New Year's party tonight. Actually, as a matter of fact, she's the one that came up with the idea. And yet, shockingly, somehow I don't believe you. That's okay, no one ever does. Just make sure you can make it to the party tonight, Soren. Yeah, right, so then that's when my buddy Link shows up and he tells me he's throwing a New Year's party. Yeah, cool story, bro, but what's the size of your car? We. Oh, bloody hell, Melissa, no! Oh, nah, don't you be getting mad at me. I'm making sure my friend's getting the good stuff. Oh, man, would you look at the time? Wish you could get something to eat. Is anyone else hungry? I'm kind of hungry. Who's with me? Let's go get something to eat now, please. Oh, that well, sounds like such a smile, lovely idea. We can go get some sandwiches. <gasps> oh, we could get some ice cream, too. Oh, this sounds lovely. Whew. That was an absolute close one.